Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to name inputs and outputs in Reaper. I have a project in front of me here where I already set up a bunch of tracks I want to record to. I have some drum tracks, so I'm with the kick, snare, a pair of toms, a pair of overheads, and a pair of rooms. I have a bass track, two guitars, and a vocal track. I want to record this all at once, but I need to set up the inputs for each one of these tracks. By default, they're all set up to be input one, so you want to change that. But if we go over here and change our inputs right here, they're not really named. So it can be hard to remember where each one is plugged in on our audio interface. So it's better to do this by naming our inputs. So we could do this by going to our preferences. Go to options, go down here to preferences, and then we're going to go to the tab called audio. And down over here, we can name our inputs and our outputs. But let's start with the inputs. You go over here and select this, then choose right here. And here's where we can name all our inputs. Now, how many inputs you have depends on your interface. I have a whole bunch, but it really doesn't matter as long as you name them based on what's plugged in to each of them. So on input one, I'm going to double click it. I'm going to type in kick because that's what my kick mic is plugged into. I'm going to go through all of them with a snare, tom one, tom two. We have a pair of overheads, but we're going to name them one at a time. So it'll be overhead left and overhead right, and the same with our room mics. Room left and room right. Then we have a bass track, our two guitars, guitar one and guitar two, and finally our vocal mic. So I hit OK and close it. Now we can set up our inputs based on what we just set up. So if we go here, now it's named kick, and the next one is named snare. But rather than doing this, one at a time, there's a little trick set up to make it a lot quicker. Let's select all the tracks, go to the first one, and here we can assign them sequentially, either mono or stereo. Let's choose mono, and we can choose where to start, from the kick, from the snare. We're obviously going to start from our kick, so if we choose that, all of our track inputs are now sequential based on the order in which they're plugged in to our interface. So we have a kick, a snare, time one and two. Now the overheads are set up a bit differently because these two are stereo tracks, but they're set up mono, overhead left, overhead right. So we need to switch that. Let's select just the stereo tracks from the overheads and the rooms. Choose it here. I'm going to assign inputs sequentially and choose stereo. Then we can choose where we want to start. So we're going to start from the overheads and go to the rooms. So if we choose that, now these two tracks are both stereo tracks and they're also sequential. Overhead left and right and the room mics left and right. Then for these tracks, let's go back to mono. Select them all. Assign inputs sequentially, go to our mono inputs, and now we're going to start at our bass and go to our vocal. And that puts these tracks from our bass, guitar one and guitar two, and then our vocal. And just like that, all of our inputs are automatically set up and they're automatically named. So it makes it easy to tell what's plugged in where. Now, if we want to use this setup in a different project, we could save it. Let's go back to our preferences and go in here and we could save it from here. Let's give it a name, my setup. 
And then if we clear this or reset it, we can get right back to it by hitting load, my setup, and all the inputs come right back. Right here. And we can do the same thing for our outputs. Right over here, again, we want to choose this and we can name our outputs. For one and two, I can name them main left and main right. So those are our main outputs. And for three and four, maybe we're using them for headphones. And they're going to show up in our routing. Go to our kick mic. Our master parent send is going to our main outputs. But if you want to set up a headphone mix, you can go right here and choose our headphone output. And then right from here, you can adjust how much level is going to the headphones from our kick track. So it's a lot easier than just seeing the output numbers. We can put names based on what they're plugged into. So that's pretty much it. That's naming our inputs and our outputs in Reaper. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Thank you.